Hey, how's it going everybody? Swag Kage here, and today I'm gonna be revisiting an old topic from, it must have been like six years ago or something, but uh, I'm not gonna be alone. I brought my buddy Six with me. Say hi to everybody. Hello. So as you guys can no doubt tell from the title, this is going to be an analysis of who would win in a fight between Naruto and Sasuke at every point in the story. So generally, the rules for these fights are going to be that the version of Naruto we pick has to have a corresponding version of Sasuke that we pick as well. So we're not going to throw like Land of Waves Naruto up against Chunin <laughs> Exam Sasuke or anything like that, uh, or vice versa, right? It is going to be at congruent parts of the story that we pick both versions of each character from. So it should be fairly simple and easy to understand. And it's also not like a team battle or <laughs> anything like that either. Just in case anybody's confused, it's one on one, just who would win at each given point. Now that that's out of the way, let's just go right ahead and get started. So the first section is the first arc. We're not going to do any academy stuff or whatever. We're going to start where the story begins with the land of waves. And Six and I both agree. And I think most of you guys will agree that Sasuke takes this pretty handily. Yeah, I mean, he beat the Demon Brothers to change. He annihilated, annihilated the Demon the Brothers. Demon Brothers. Bro. Sorry, <laughs> not the downplay. He flexed on them. downplay. <laughs> but Naruto just frozen in fear. Clearly just not on Sasuke's level. They do have good teamwork at this point, though. Yes. Right? Against Zabuza. But that's not correlating to an actual battle between the two. That's more so just making plans. Um, Sasuke's definitely the better ninja, the stronger ninja. And I think that's just implied, right? Like yes. Sasuke's the genius. He's got it. Naruto doesn't yet. He's I mean, narratively, it. It, it, like the whole thing is that Naruto has to work his way up to Sasuke's level. Sasuke's a goalpost for him, and Naruto definitely doesn't surpass him here in the first arc. Obviously not. Yeah. The. I mean, this is a little bit after the bell test, right? And mm -hmm. it's like in the bell test, the bell Sasuke's test. performance was just like dwarfing Naruto's. There yeah. is no comparison whatsoever. Kakashi's like, I can't read while I fight this guy. Yeah, he you actually know. had to fight Sasuke one on one. Yeah, he, he was surprised at Sasuke's performance, too. Like, aside from that, like yes. he, he's like, Guinea shouldn't be able to use fire style and, and whatnot. So, yeah, and, and, and that's another thing. Sasuke already knows nature transformations and whatnot. Naruto has no idea. You won't learn that until later on in Shippuden. Yeah, so, Naruto doesn't learn that until, like, the halfway point of the series. So, yeah. you know, <laughs> Sasuke is just way ahead of him. Um, they do seem to have pretty similar fundamentals, as shown by the fact that they both make it to the top of the tree in the tree climbing exercise at about the same time. Yeah. But in terms of combat skill, arsenal power, speed, all that, Sasuke is just superior in every relevant category. The only exception, or like asterisk I want to throw in here, is obviously if Naruto gets the same Nine Tails boost as he got against Haku, that version of Naruto just destroys Sasuke. It's not fair at all. Yeah. But I think that it's like, it would be weird to give this round to Naruto based on those merits because there's no reason to assume that he would actually start using the nine tails chakra in a fight against sasuke the reason yeah. that came out when he was fighting haku is because he thought haku killed sasuke and it was a rage emotion thing yeah there's just no way he would think sasuke killed sasuke and do the same thing <laughs> yeah, it's, exactly. it's really like a super technicality that you just can't include so it's like yeah, yeah he would beat him but realistically that's not going to happen. So round one is going to go to Sasuke. Yep. The next section is the Forest of Death. And I'm not going to be talking about them base to base because that's not really interesting. I mean, they're still pretty similar to how they were in the Land of Waves. So if it's like at the start of the Forest of Death, Sasuke fights Naruto, Sasuke is probably going to win. Yep. The more interesting conversation, and it requires me to fairly early on in the video break the rules i laid out at the beginning uh <laughs> but the more interesting conversation is sasuke with the curse mark versus naruto with the nine tails boost right the naruto that fought against orochimaru damaged the snake versus the sasuke that fought against the sound team dosu zaku 
and kin. Now, this one is a little bit harder to answer because neither of them have super direct scaling to one another. But what I will say is that Sasuke's performance against Orochimaru with just his Sharingan was pretty similar to Naruto's performance against Orochimaru with the Ninetales Chakra. So if you were to give Sasuke the curse mark boost on top of that, he would probably win. Yeah. I mean, 100%, bro. I mean, Sasuke with the curse mark, he outperformed Lee. Even first gate Lee. First gate weighted Lee. Keep, yes. Throw that in there. Don't don't attack me. He outperformed <laughs> first gate weighted Lee against the sound ninja. And Naruto got folded by him right in the beginning of the, the prelims. With the in beginning of the forest of death or whatever. So Sasuke is clearly just going to take that round. And, and even if you throw in the nine tails amp. It's not going to be that much. Orochimaru didn't even like flinch at Naruto using that. And then Sasuke, you know, he did his little performance or whatever. You could say he's mental amped if you want to. But he and melted Orochimaru, off Orochimaru's face. Yeah. You know? like, and Orochimaru <laughs> chose him like right there. Like, yeah, this is the guy. So. Um, he, he basically says something to the effect of, oh, you're his brother, all right. You know, he's already comparing Sasuke to Itachi and stuff. So he clearly sees something special in Sasuke before Sasuke gets the curse mark power boost. So there's just no world where Naruto wins this fight. In base or with either of their special power-ups, I, I, I just can't see it. I think that Sasuke wins uh, categorically no matter which version of the characters you use from the Forest of Death. So... We're going to tally up another point for Sasuke on the board. Yep. Next up is the tuning exam preliminaries. And Naruto finally, finally gets his first W. But unfortunately, it's not like a fair one. <laughs> the reason Naruto wins here isn't on his own merits. It's not because he got significantly stronger since the Forest of Death or anything. But it's because Sasuke is not in good shape during the yeah. tuning exam preliminaries because the curse mark is messing with him badly. So he also can't Naruto, use his Sharingan at this point, right? I'm pretty sure he says he can't use his Sharingan at this point in the in the prelims. Yeah, he can't use any ninjutsu at this point. Yeah, so straight taijutsu Sasuke is not really doing it. Even the arguments we were given earlier, it was more so when Sasuke is using his super ninjutsu tricks and his Sharingan to get it over on Orochimaru. Especially base Sasuke drained of chakra, uh, you know, and the curse mark messing with him, putting him in physical pain, literal physical pain. Yeah, he's not getting it over on Naruto, who basically just has auto healing. <laughs> so now there is an argument to be made that if he manages to hit Naruto with the lion's barrage, he might win the fight. But I don't know if he'd bust that out, like, on Naruto specifically. Because he didn't know the guy he was fighting. And he went all the way, all the way out. And the other thing, too, is, like Six said, Naruto has auto-healing. So that might not put him down anyway. Yeah. Like, he might get up after that and just be like, I'm not going down. And then just beat Sasuke up anyway. Yeah, but so, either way, it's, it's a point on the board for Naruto. Yeah, Naruto is the more likely of the two to win the fight here. Next up, we have the Chunin exam finals. And so I will say here that I'm not going to do like a separate version of Naruto for, say, Neji fight Naruto and Gara fight Naruto because it's the same character. They're hours apart. There's no special training or anything like that. The only difference is mentality. But even then, the main difference between how Naruto performed in his fight against Neji and how Naruto performed in his fight against Gara is that in one of those fights, he summoned a massive like Sanin level summon to help him fight. Yeah. And if he does that against Sasuke, and convinces Gamabunta to listen to him, then obviously he wins. But Gamabunta's not going to listen to him. It was a very, 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 very special set of circumstances that allowed Naruto to convince him to fight Gara. 
Yeah. The main thing was that he accidentally summoned Gamakichi. Gamma Bunta wanted to protect Gamakichi, and Naruto had to point out that Gamakichi was there in the first place. Otherwise, Gamma Bunta would probably just leave the stadium, you yeah. know? And yeah. Naruto would have used all that chakra for nothing. Granted, the chakra probably wouldn't be a huge deal to him because he has a lot of it, but Gamma Bunta is a non-factor here. So the real question is, could Naruto, with that nine tails amp from his fight against Neji, beat Sasuke? And I don't think so. No. no he's not winning. I mean, man, I really don't want to talk about Sasuke versus Lee, but I think I'm going to have to bring it up. I mean, like, <laughs> Sasuke, he's like on par with Lee in speed. I, yes. I think that's fair to say, right? I don't think I should get attacked for that. And Lee. No, that much is stated. Yeah, Lee is faster than Neji. I think that's pretty clear too. So, I mean, Sasuke is faster than Naruto, and now he has Chidori, which Naruto <laughs> just is not avoiding. Yeah. So, I mean, like, Naruto should have the capability of summoning Gamabunta, but like Swag said, that's just not going to help him here. Gamabunta is just not going to listen to him. So, I mean, it's, it's really like a, a Sasuke W, especially if Sasuke's at full power. Because, I mean, even in the even in the, the Konoha Crush, like, forest portion of the fight where Sasuke's losing to Gaara, it's just because he keeps spamming Chidori's at him. And if Sasuke happens to pull out the curse mark on Naruto like he did with Gaara, he's going to tear him in half. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just another W on the board for Sasuke. So, what is this? Yeah, it's, 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 just, it's just not fair for Naruto at all. Um, Sasuke is just, I mean, he beats up Gara without his Sharingan, you know, he's advanced so much in the time, uh, that so th there was already a gap between him and Naruto and Kakashi really maximized, uh, the time that he took to train Sasuke. So like, I, I think that Naruto just, it's not as much of a blowout as say in the land of waves. I think if Naruto like taps into his nine tails power he actually does give sasuke a decent fight but he definitely doesn't win under any circumstances yeah even if he makes a bunch of clones and i mean like a bunch of clones that probably won't help him either it'll be like one of those scenes in the series where you have naruto throw all his clones at somebody and they just like dodge them and pop them over and over i mean like like sasuke did when they fought on the on hospital the rooftop. rooftop pretty much yeah. so like Six said, gonna mark this one up for Sasuke. Current score, one Naruto, three Sasuke. Next up, the search for Tsunade arc. Yep, Naruto is a lot stronger here, and Sasuke is incapacitated. So, I mean, naturally, you, <laughs> <laughs> you know where this is gonna go. I mean, the, the fight on the rooftop is just super indicative of how this fight would go. Yeah, it, it basically worse. is this fight because yeah. Sasuke in that fight is pretty much exactly the same in terms of skill, strength, speed, all of that. If anything, uh, he's as stronger. he is, yeah. If anything, he he's a little bit stronger because um, as he was when he fought Itachi in the hotel, yeah. and Naruto is pretty much exactly the same as well. So if you give Naruto from the end of the you know Tsunade arc the Rasengan. Uh, and all that, you know, like he's able to use it the same way he did on the hospital roof, then Naruto wins. Because even though they were pretty close, like they were relative in that fight, the end of the fight was where things changed and it became evident that Naruto was going to win, like by a lot. Because his yeah. Rasengan was just going to blow up Sasuke's Chidori. And I, I don't know what was going <laughs> to happen to Sasuke, by the way, if that clash did happen. But uh, it probably wouldn't have been good for him. So this yeah. is another one of those things where I kind of have to break the rules I set out in the beginning. And I have to take Naruto from the end of the arc and throw him up against Sasuke from the beginning of the arc. But there's not this a whole lot of change out. that happens. Like, by the time Sasuke is incapacitated, Naruto is still pretty much the exact same as he was in the tuning exam finals. So I think it's more interesting to take him from the end and Sasuke from the beginning. But the thing is, the series already answers that for us, right? Because we have their fight on the hospital roof, so we can just give this one to Naruto and move on to the next one. Yeah. I mean, if you're still in denial, bro, like, 
after Sasuke saw the Rasengan and what it did to the water tank, he became evil. Yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> It's yeah. pretty clear Naruto, Naruto is taking that. That was... It wasn't the exact last straw that made him leave the village. That was the sound ninja coming. But it was very close to the final straw that made him leave the village and pursue Orochimaru. Yeah. Speaking of, the next <laughs> fight is Naruto versus Sasuke from the Sasuke retrieval arc. And that fight happened. Sasuke yeah. won. So he can now, just give that one to Sasuke. There, there's something I want to say about this one. Because people bring up how Naruto, like at the end of the clash, he scratched Sasuke's headband instead of going for like a critical strike or something like that. I think that it's extremely disingenuous to say that Naruto would have won otherwise. Because then you just take Naruto out of character. It's in Naruto's character to do something like that. Because he's petty, and Sasuke said he couldn't put a scratch on his forehead. That's why he did it. So Sasuke would win if they fought again, because Naruto is stupid and petty, and he would do it again. Yep, exactly. It would also just be, like, what Like, what do you want us to do? Look at, like, a fight that we actually see <laughs> happen, where Sasuke wins, and give it to Naruto, you know? <laughs> Like, yeah. just because of this uh, detail from the end of the fight? Nah, no way. Can't yeah, do it. Sorry, fear, boss. Bro. So, current score at the end of part one is four for Sasuke, two for Naruto. Not looking good for our pal <laughs> Naruto. And it's not going to get better. In the next round. <laughs> yeah, uh, not for a while, actually. Next round is Kazakage Rescue. Jesus, man. Um, <laughs> this yeah, is Naruto just... just can't win. <laughs> he can't win this one at all. Like the last one, just like oh yeah, maybe you had a little bit of argument with the with the headband scratch thing. This one, Naruto cannot win. Nine Tails <laughs> Chakra gets taken out of the equation because Sasuke now can enter Naruto's mind and stop Kurama from giving him chakra. So none of that's happening. And then we see Sasuke with his Sharingan off, speed blitz Naruto at the end of the Tenchi Bridge arc, who is stronger yeah. than the Naruto in Kaze Kage Rescue. They think Sasuke is so strong here, without his curse mark on even, that he is on drugs to get stronger. So... I, I mean, think that's Tsunade's assessment as well, yes, isn't it? It's Tsunade and Sakura, the medic ninja experts, that they think Sasuke is on drugs to get stronger. Naruto cannot win. He stands no chance whatsoever. Naruto gets bodied here. It, it, it's just bad, right? Like, And I know that I have, you know, the thing is, oh, he's the Uchiha guy. He likes saying that Uchiha win in versus battles. But, like, <laughs> there's no way, man. Because they fought in the next arc, and Naruto had backup from a whole team, and the whole team got wiped out. He had Sakura, Sai, and Yamato all there. And these none of these guys are chumps, by the way. Okay, just so we're clear. You know, Yamato and Sai have Anbu, like, foundation ties. So they're super elite Jonin. Sakura in the previous arc fought against a member of the Akatsuki and did a pretty good job. And Sasuke just, he just invalidates all of them, Naruto included. So that also brings us to the next arc, or the next fight, which is Tenchi Bridge arc. Now, if they fight base to base, exactly what we just said will happen is going to happen. So... <laughs> I think it's more interesting if we say, well, what if Four Tail Naruto fought against Curse Mark Sasuke? Now, the thing is, Sasuke can just suppress the Nine Tails. Yep. So this probably isn't going to happen. But if you do assume that Naruto goes full Four Tails to fight Sasuke, which I don't think is in character, maybe he has a chance. Yep. However, Orochimaru looked at Three Tail Naruto. And by the way, Three Tails is, I think, the most I can see Naruto using if he were to fight Sasuke in the hideout. But, like, he looked at Three Tail Naruto and said, you're not even in the same league as Sasuke. Yeah. That's insane. And it's, it's unclear crazy. if he was talking about Curse Mark or Base, too. Yeah. So, I mean, like, Naruto, with all this power, dozens of times of an amp at this point, 
maybe upwards of 30 times of an amp is not even in the same realm of power as Sasuke. So, I mean... I know, also want to, to emphasize that part, not the, oh, Sasuke is still stronger than you. Orochimaru said you're not even in the same league. They are, like... Naruto is gold or platinum and Sasuke is diamond, right? Like yeah. massive, massive gap. Naruto <laughs> like, is S rank and Sasuke is Z rank. Yeah, exactly. You know, something like that. And th that's a big deal, right? So that means that Naruto has to use the four tails to even stand a chance against Sasuke. And like, eh, like if you want to give it to Naruto... I guess, like, I can see why, because Four Tail Naruto is really strong. Based on the statements that are there, it seems like Curse Mark to Sasuke might still win this fight. So, I, I, I give don't it know. to Sasuke just because of Genjutsu and being able to suppress the Nine Tails. Yeah, I, I think that's probably what would happen. Is that if you if you say that Naruto starts the fight in four tails sasuke would probably just be able to suppress the nine tails the same way he did when they fought in the hideout so you don't really even have to ask is he stronger than four tail naruto anyway yeah so another w on the board for sasuke <laughs> next arc akatsuki suppression now this one is basically stated that sasuke is still superior to naruto and in fact not only that but Naruto still thinks that the version of Sasuke that he saw in the hideout is stronger than him after he got the Ross and Shuriken. Yeah. So, but just to be clear, by the way, for those of you who may have forgotten or whatever, the Akatsuki suppression arc is the Hidon and Kakazu and like Ross and Shuriken, Shikamaru stuff. Even with the Ross and Shuriken, Naruto still sees Sasuke as his superior. Kakashi notes that he's still mentally chasing after Sasuke, so. The obvious narrative implication there is that Naruto hasn't caught up to Sasuke yet and is still trying really hard to, which, I mean, you know, for the purposes of this video means that Sasuke wins this round. It's pretty much the exact same thing as the previous two rounds. It, it, like, he just got way stronger as a result of his training with Orochimaru than Naruto did as a result of his training with Jiraiya. And... He's still getting stronger because we see in, it might be the next arc, but it's around this period in time that Sasuke is still undergoing training exercises with like Orochimaru's minions and stuff, fighting massive numbers of them and yes, it's right going it's out of his way not to kill them. I don't think anything really changes here. It's still another win for Sasuke. I know, I know it's probably annoying, but it, like Sasuke is just way stronger than Naruto and early Shippuden. You know, and Naruto does get quite a bit stronger over the course of Shippuden, but like it is, it's not enough to bridge the gap until I'm going to just be serious, arc. bro. Before we talk about the pain arc, we haven't even talked about Kirin. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't like an ability he got in the like Itachi uh, pursuit mission arc either. Like this is something that he was just chilling with since the start of Shippuden. He threatened to use it against them when they showed up to Orochimaru's hideout and Orochimaru had to stop them, so. So yeah, I mean, Sasuke W. I mean, that's really, that's really all you could say. But then we get to the pain arc, and then it's like Naruto is really strong here. Yeah. Really strong. So, we're kind of skipping over Itachi fight Sasuke because that's not the version of Sasuke that exists at the same time as Pain Arc, or like Sage Mode Naruto. Uh, so this fight is Sage Mode Naruto from the fight with Pain versus Taka Sasuke from the fight with B. And this is unfortunate for Sasuke because Sasuke is even weaker in the fight against B than he is uh, like in the arc prior because he doesn't have the slight boost from having Orochimaru absorbed anymore and he doesn't have the curse mark but his Mangekyo isn't developed enough to make up for the loss of those passive boosts mm -hmm. and I would just like to point out by the way that it's revealed in the Sasuke retrieval arc that even when he's not using it the curse mark does provide Sasuke with a passive boost to his base stats so losing it is a pretty big deal Naruto yeah. just 
categorically, demonstrably beats Sasuke here. It's just a fact. The se- I mean, like, Zetsu straight up tells him that there's no way Sasuke could beat him based on what he's seen of Sasuke. Sasuke. Heals. Yeah, that's after Sasuke heals from the B fight. So that's based off what Zetsu knows uh, about Nar- um, Naruto and Sasuke's respective abilities. There's just, like, Sage Mode Naruto is too strong. Now, I want to specify... Naruto is not stronger than Pain. He had a lot of help and a lot of very special circumstances. Like, all the stars aligned, basically, uh, yeah. for him uh, in order to get that victory. But I think that Naruto did a lot better against Pain than Sasuke would have. And if Naruto busts out the, the four tails or, God forbid, the six tails, it's just over. Uh, he probably <laughs> won't. All he really needs is Sage Mode. But, you know... Like, th- there's just nothing Sasuke would be able to do. Ar- um, Amaterasu is strong, but I think that, like, I-, I don't even think that it would come to that. I think that he would just lose to a punch or something before Amaterasu even, like, came up in the fight. Right. I mean, Naruto also has expanding Rasen shurikens at this point, which yes. Sasuke just cannot prepare himself for. Like, he can he can look at the Rasen shuriken, maybe dodge it, but he cannot prepare himself for an expansion of it. There's just no way that he can know that that's coming. Yeah, and then exactly. Naruto's got Frog Kata, where he can basically attack you without attacking you. Like, even if he misses the punch, you're still going to get hit. Um, there's just there's so many things Naruto has aside from being stronger than Sasuke that virtually make it impossible for Sasuke to even pull out a W here if he starts cheesing the battle. So, I mean, it's really just in Naruto's favor. And you then, could throw the rest of Taka in there too if you wanted, and Naruto yeah. would still win. And then we have the Kage Summit. Probably This is the, the most, most interesting, interesting part. part. Yeah. Yeah. You can go ahead and start us off with this. So, Sasuke gets massively stronger throughout the Kage Summit just due to hatred amps we know that every time sasuke susano evolves you might as well attribute it directly to a hatred amp especially in the fight with donzo we get uh obito just telling us you know sasuke's rage grew his power grew and now his body is adapting to that power whenever his susano eventually gets his his little arrow and then it evolves for the final time against kakashi whenever he's talking about how he doesn't like the leaf village or whatever so Sasuke's descending further and further into madness, and that whole time he's descending in uh, in mental stability, he's just going up and up and up and up and up in power. So the Zetsu statement from before about Sasuke being weaker than Naruto is completely invalid at this point. Sasuke's completely c- eclipsed that older version of himself. Now, I think a very interesting comparison is whenever Sasuke talks about how his Susano is a more absolute defense than Gara's. Because earlier, Gara was just easily deflecting Sasuke's attacks. And his sand came in between Sasuke and the Raikage. And it stopped Amaterasu and the guillotine drop. So for Sasuke Susano to evolve, to basically be able to tank the guillotine drop now, is a pretty massive boost. And Sasuke, after this, he goes into the, you know, the Kage Summit room. He stands on the roof cool as fuck by the way standing on the roof oh that scene is fire yeah yeah and then mifune comes up slashes at him now i don't know how much everyone knows about mifune but mifune is pretty cracked he, he, he's pretty strong at the maximum you can maybe say mifune is faster than prime hanzo who may be around pain's level but i don't want to take it that far I'm just saying, Sasuke is reacting to Mifune and countering Casually, by the way. Yes, casually. No Mangekyo just put his sword out and blocked Mifune easily. And Mifune compliments Yeah, he looks more him. annoyed than anything. Yeah. Mifune compliments him on it. Now, a lot of people try to downplay Sasuke within this room because he's, like, low on chakra at this point. But... Anoki putting Sasuke in the Jinton cube is nothing impressive. Sasuke's barely able to walk. He's like limping out of the room when it happens. Obviously, nothing's happened to Anoki, so he's at full power. Um, Anoki mentions like, oh, I can't believe Data or lost to a brat like you or something like that. That's obviously not meant to be like a literal statement because Sasuke was already clearly superior to Data back when he was in Heavy. 
Um, and he's, he's much stronger at, at this point. And, and like I said, he's fatigued when he enters this room. So then, then you got Sasuke getting saved by Obito. And then, you know, finally, when he comes into contact with Donzo, his power just reaches the absolute maximum. It's even stated in the data book, like his anger is at the boiling point here. So it's like Sasuke is at his absolute strongest whenever he encounters Donzo. And then he gets weaker. He loses his Sharingan, he loses his Susanoo and whatnot. Him and Naruto clash, you know, Chidori uh, to Rasengan. It's base Naruto, by the way. And then there's this statement, oh my god, where Naruto says that he needs the Nine Tails Chakra in order to fight Sasuke. This statement has been taken out of context a lot. I think the context surrounding this statement more so implies that Naruto is talking about he needs to conquer hatred in order to fight Sasuke, especially due to his conversation with Team 7 and Hagoromo later on in the war arc, where he's yes, essentially saying this. that he can't just beat Sasuke by being strong. He needs to overcome this hatred hurdle so he can end the cycle of hatred because Naruto has two goals. He wants to save Sasuke and he wants to end the cycle of hatred. One has to come before the other, right? And that's saving Sasuke. So if he can conquer the Nine Tails, whose chakra and will is just a lump of hatred, then he can do that. Also, if you take this statement in its most literal form, which just isn't true, it's Naruto says he needs the Nine Tails chakra in order to fight Sasuke. Sasuke is not as strong as the entire Nine Tails at this point. We see that later on in the war, whenever KCM 2 happens, he's not even as strong as that, right? So blind Sasuke is not as strong as KCM2 Naruto or anything like that. And then keep in mind when Naruto, the, what he's thinking of when he's saying this is blind Sasuke. So he just tied with blind Sasuke, Rasengan to Chidori. So he's already as strong as blind Sasuke. So it's clearly not meant to be interpreted as he needs KCM or anything like that. Especially considering, you know, on top of that, KCM 1 and 2 aren't really things. We call those forms that so that we know what each other is talking about whenever we, you know, uh, mention the battle. In reality, that's all just QB chakra mode with Naruto using less and more than Nine Tails chakra. You know, it's varying, right? So Naruto can't be saying, oh, I need KCM 1 to fight Sasuke. Hasn't happened yet. He doesn't even know if, he, if that's a thing. So it's just far more likely that that's what that statement is talking about. And I think with all the surrounding context, maybe this is at full power, a Sasuke dub. I think Swag has a little bit of a different interpretation where he thinks Naruto wins, so I'll let him go over that. But I think that Sasuke, you know, being uh, able to react to the right Kage and whatnot, would kind of put him over KCM Naruto, who I think is faster than Sage Mode Naruto, at least from... Uh, this arc, but y'all let Swag talk now. I've been rambling forever. No, you got it. I mean, that was good, right? It was good to lay all that out there. So, first of all, I would like to say I am on the same page. I agree that that statement about Naruto, or like the statement that Naruto gives, where he's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna need to master the Nine Tails to fight him." It just doesn't make any sense for it to be a strict power statement because it's based off of Blind Sasuke, like you said, and. I don't even like the idea that Blind Sasuke is stronger than Sage Mode Naruto, let alone as strong as KCM2. That's stupid. <laughs> so yeah. um, he's probably just saying that they're equal in base. So who you think wins comes down to whether you think Sage Mode is stronger than the Mangekyo uh, amp at full power. And now wh one thing I should say too is that it's not just that Sasuke is getting stronger because his Susano is developing further. The Mangekyo is passively buffing him too, which is something that Karin points out at the beginning of the arc uh, when she notes that his chakra is colder and more intense even than Curse Mark 2. So Sasuke is getting a greater than Curse Mark 2 buff just from uh, the Mangekyo existing, right? Like at all. And that's at that point. By the end of the arc, his Susano is fully developed. His Mangekyo is thus make like like uh, Six said. Obito points out that as his rage grows, so does his power. So this boost should be way, way, way beyond the scope of anything Curse Mark Two could have offered to him at this point. So 
if you think that Sasuke would win at full power against Naruto here, I think that that's valid. Uh, it, it really just, like, like I said, it, it comes down to a question that doesn't have a conclusive answer, which is, do you think that Sage Mode is stronger than the boost that Sasuke is getting now? Because they are equal in base. That much is demonstrated. And I honestly don't know. I think I actually would lean towards Sasuke, but I think that Naruto is, like, like really strong, especially based on his fight with Karama, which happened shortly after this and after not a ton of training. Like, Naruto is slightly stronger in the fight against Karama than in the Five Kage Summit, but he's doing all sorts of crazy stuff, making loads and loads of Shadow Clones, the Sage Mode, Brisengon Mega Barrage, uh, that exploding Rasen Shrik and the damaged Karama. So there's a good argument that Naruto could beat Sasuke here, but I don't know. I think I'd probably just say this is a tie or inconclusive. If you put a gun to my head and made me pick, I might go with Sasuke. But if I'm allowed to use feats from Naruto versus Karama, I might go with Naruto. So, like, I don't know. But, like, if, if you restrict the feats to strictly, like, five Kage Summit and prior, then I think that it's probably a Sasuke win. But I'm, I'm not super comfortable picking either one. Yeah. So... I mean, yeah, that, that one's more so a tie. And then yeah, next you can is just, mid war. No point for either one of them. If you guys want, just because we've been showing so much love to Sasuke, I can throw Naruto uh, a markup on the board if you really want. You know, j just for the sake of appeasing people. But I, I, d I don't know if it's going to matter because of how many wins Sasuke has already racked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The next fight is in the middle of the war. So it's basically as soon as Sasuke is able to fight again, which is when he gets the Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan and recovers from the surgery. So this would be Sasuke with Itachi's eyes and the, and the Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan versus Naruto having, I guess mastered the nine tails chakra as far as he's aware but he hasn't really mastered it yet because he doesn't have kcm2 so this is basically kcm1 mid to early war naruto versus ems sasuke i think that sasuke takes this because his performance is much more consistent with naruto's performance later in the war like when they're fighting ten tails obito or just the ten tails for example uh, Sasuke seems to be able to keep pace with that KCM Naruto. And I'll talk more about KCM2 in the next round. But I think that it's safe to assume that that version of Naruto is stronger than the one from earlier in the war. Because he's been fighting a lot. And I mean, it, it, now, before anybody says, well, that the opposite should actually be true, Swag. Because since he's been fighting, he should be fatigued. Uh, he gets his chakra back a lot right and fighting makes you stronger in naruto this much has been stated before many characters have gotten stronger just by fighting it actually happens many times throughout the war and if you want to think of it like this an actual fight is basically just like a training exercise but with real stakes so doing all these fights against all these people with all these shadow clones spread all across the world should have made naruto stronger i think in the time uh, between when this fight would be happening and when Sasuke displayed relativity to Naruto later in the war. So I think it's pretty safe to say that Sasuke would win this fight. Uh, yeah. But what's I, your I opinion? Agree. No, I, I agree completely. Like it, it's way more safe to say Sasuke would win than it would be to throw in all of the would be and could be's to Naruto to say that Naruto would win. Yeah, it, Sasuke position is just way more concrete. Uh huh. And then there's other stuff too, like when Naruto fights against Itachi. And granted, you can say that you know this is because Naruto is fatigued because he just made all the clones, which is fair. But Naruto doesn't really seem to compare to Itachi like at all in this fight. Like they start fighting and they seem kind of close, but then when Itachi breaks free and actually starts trying. He's the only one doing anything against Nagato, and he's actually pretty close in power to Nagato. Like, the two of them seem, like, fairly relative, whereas, uh, at least, I'll say, just so <laughs> Six doesn't get mad at me. Uh, <laughs> different conversation, though. They're at least relative in power, but, like, Nagato just 
eclipses Naruto and B. Uh, this much is demonstrated. Then later, Sasuke, while he's not as strong as Itachi when the two of them are fighting against Kabuto, he just seems like a, a way closer match uh, for Itachi than Naruto was. Like, they're doing team attacks and stuff. Sasuke's intercepting attacks directed at Itachi. Uh, you know, he's like hitting cops. Like, he's actually helping Itachi, which is more than Naruto and B did uh, against Nagato. So, I think all signs point to Sasuke being superior at this point in the series. Yeah, 100%. And then we get the late war. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so, this is when Naruto has KCM2. And if you want to be really, really, really nice to Naruto, the very end of the war, KCM2 Sage Mode Naruto. Either version, though, Sasuke doesn't have a chance. Uh, he takes one look at KCM2, and it makes him mad. Literally. Like, he, he's um, like, Naruto has this much chakra. Perfect yeah. control over this much chakra. So... We don't even really need to talk about Sasuke getting mad at KCM2 because we have him directly compared to and equal to KCM1 Naruto or Master KCM, whichever one you say. So Sasuke is just absolutely beneath KCM2 Naruto. So Naruto would smash him. And if you and give Naruto KCM2 sage mode? sage mode? Yeah, like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Like, Sasuke had to get help from Naruto himself and Jugo to keep up with that version of Naruto. And I think Naruto was still clearly superior to him, too. And this was also while Naruto was in the middle of sharing chakra with a bunch of people, by the way. Um, many members of the Allied Shinobi forces. And he was uh, sharing enough chakra with, like, all of the Konoha 11 that they were getting their own KCM2 cloaks. So this was, like... I mean, like, he, he was doing a lot. He was giving people a lot, and he was still just leaps and bounds ahead of Sasuke. It's just not fair at all. Sasuke loses terribly. In this might be the worst one so far, actually. Yeah. I think this one is a bigger gap than uh, Start of Shippuden is. Yeah, absolutely. And then you got six paths. This isn't as big of a gap. But, but Naruto there. is still Naruto's still the clear winner yeah, here. And, and Naruto is the clear winner. So, I mean, mainly from the Final Valley fight, because this is another fight that sort of just happened. Sasuke lost after having multiple advantages. And Naruto, Naruto's holding back for one, right? And he, he's playing defensive most of the fight. And Sasuke calls him out for this. He's like, bro, are you only going to play defense? Like, you can't beat me by only playing defense. And Naruto mentions over and over again how this isn't how he wants him and Sasuke's fight to go. Like he's like, this isn't this isn't my dream. Like this isn't how I figured me and me and you would would end uh, the little squabbling or whatever. So Naruto's holding back, fending off Sasuke, and then wins in the end after Sasuke absorbs all the chakra from the Biju. Um, he just loses. So, I mean, yeah, it's just a Naruto dub. Uh, I think that there's also a little bit of narrative subtext in the way that the scene is directed to. It, it seems, and now maybe this is a stretch, Kishimoto, like, he has a history of doing this sort of thing. Like, a good example that's relative or uh, relevant for this video is when... Team 7 first runs into Sasuke again. He's above them. And that the scene is framed that way to clearly convey to the viewer without the need for any dialogue that Sasuke is stronger than they are. So in the final Valley fight, when they have their Rasengan and Chidori clash, they're not on even ground like they are the first time it happens. But instead, Sasuke is falling and Naruto is going up. So in a literal sense, this means that Naruto has to fight against gravity, whereas Sasuke is being helped by gravity. But also, I think it's very easy to read into this and, and like infer that this is supposed to be Kishimoto saying that Naruto is fighting an uphill battle here because Sasuke is fighting without restraint, but Naruto has the discipline and, and like also lacks the desire uh, you know, like, necessary to, to want to kill Sasuke. 
So I, I think that everything just points to Naruto like being stronger here. A lot of people like to say, oh, Sasuke only said he lost because Naruto still wanted to fight at the end, even though they were in the same condition, blah, 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 blah. But Sasuke conceded. The fight did actually happen, and Sasuke said Naruto won. So I think that that should be good enough. But if you want to analyze it further than that, everything that Six said is valid, then plus what I said, just to add on to it. I, I think that Kishimoto did it on purpose, right? Because he could have, and it would have been very easy to, just draw the exact same type of Rasengan and Chidori clash that they did before. Another thing too, another advantage that Sasuke has is that he puts Enton in his Chidori. Yeah. So it's like an amped Chidori that ties with Naruto's regular base Rasengan. So Sasuke had every advantage possible in this fight. And like I was saying, Kishimoto could have drawn it at a neutral angle where they were both clashing on an even playing field, but he chose for some reason to have Sasuke falling and Naruto going up. So I think that his goal here, I think that, that there had to be a reason for it. And I think that the reason was because he wanted to make it uh, apparent that Naruto was the stronger of the two. There's also stuff from the fight with Kaguya, like Naruto just performs better regularly yeah. against her, but we don't really have to go into that. Cause like we said, Sasuke admitted defeat. So go ahead, throw one up on the board for Naruto. Then we move on to the last, uh, it's, so the last is like the Boruto movie where there's a novel and there's the last, right? It's not a novelization. So a novelization is when the movie gets turned into a novel. This is the last had a novel that got turned into a movie. And in the last novel, when Sasuke shows up in order to break the meteor heading towards Konoha, it says that he is Kakashi's strongest student meaning that he's stronger than naruto so he would beat naruto i mean it's, yep. it's really that simple um if you want to talk about the anime only then we just kind of can't conclude on it because this is the right. only piece yeah. of information we have about either of them and how they scale to one another so i think that it's just safe to give it to sasuke and if you want to fight this statement i don't know what to tell you dude like that is as concrete as possible it's as close to saying sasuke is stronger than naruto without outright saying it um because it's like there are three students of kakashi if sasuke is the strongest that means he's stronger than naruto it's not a broad category so um if you want I guess you can chalk this up to a tie. Like, I, I wouldn't say that that's dumb. I think that that's valid. But uh, the only information that we have about it from the original source material says that Sasuke was stronger. So I'm going to give it to him. Then we got Boruto, Naruto, and Sasuke. This is unclear. And I feel like me or Swag, no matter which way we pick, we are going to get attacked when in reality like i said the fight is kind of just unclear so you have the boruto movie data book they say naruto and sasuke are equals that's not stated in the anime by any like official source but it's an opinion that orochimaru and mitsuki both hold in the anime and manga uh i'm pretty sure it's also in the novel as well but just saying in this era, it's stated that they're equal in every continuity. Uh, just, you know, the source the source varies. So if you don't want to take it, whatever. But with that being said, it sort of makes it difficult to determine who would win. Because it's just like, well, would they just tie? Is Naruto stronger? And then we don't really get anything for that. So I'm saying this is a, this is a tie or inconclusive. You can pick whichever one you want to based on your favorite character and i'm going to leave it at that and i agree but i think that the series illustrates them as equals uh pretty regularly i i think that if there was a strength disparity it would have been alluded to or said or something at some point right like we would have one source that just straight up confirms naruto or sasuke's superiority but yeah. we don't really if it existed we would tell you about it and we'd be like this person wins but we don't so i think that it's just like 
it depends on what kind of day they're having type of thing you know like um if naruto wakes up on the wrong side of the bed he might lose if sasuke doesn't get enough sleep and eats no breakfast or something then he <laughs> might lose right it, it really just depends uh so i'm gonna mark this as a tie then we have maybe this is like a bonus or like supplementary category i don't know uh, but it's boruto era post nerfs because and i maybe i shouldn't have put before this on the that, list just because of the answer but wait but, go ahead but before that boriyama naruto would beat the dog shit out of sasuke yeah that did obviously you know that it's not even a category here you know yeah. if you want to give a point to naruto for that sure because you know i, I said this kind of earlier in the video but um i don't know how much of a difference it's gonna make uh but like post nerfs I don't know. Do you think Sage Mode is stronger than Sasuke's one Mangekyo Sharingan? Then I guess Naruto wins. <laughs> Do you think that Sasuke's Genjutsu is too much for Naruto to handle? Then I guess Sasuke wins. There are a lot of arguments you can make for both parties, but neither of them have been shown fighting one another yet. And since at the time of this video's release, we're pretty much right at the time skip, I don't think that we're going to get any proof of who's stronger. So this is probably, like the last one, just going to stay a tie forever. Well, I think we will see that Sasuke is stronger because Naruto is sealed away right now. <laughs> yeah. And Sasuke is training with Boruto. And the t like it's, that's why you said the time skip is about to happen. So we're about to see Sasuke after the time skip. Maybe he's gotten stronger so maybe we'll see that confirmation. But as of now, that's just speculation and we don't know. So, the final score for everybody, Sasuke has Land of Waves, Forest of Death, Chunin Exam Finals, Sasuke Retrieval, Kazakage Rescue, Tenchi Bridge, Akatsuki Suppression, Mid War, and The Last. And Kage Summit, if you want to throw that in there. Uh, Cause yeah. you said that was a tie. And then, you know, you could also talk about Borto and the post nerfs because we said that was a tie too and you can choose if you want so if you include those it's 12 but if you don't it's 9 for Sasuke then Naruto has the tuning exam preliminaries search for Tsunade pain arc late war and six pads and then if you include the tie rounds he has 8 without them he has 5 so Sasuke wins more than he loses here. Even if you give every tiebreaker to Naruto, Sasuke still comes out on top. This yep. was not done on purpose. None of these arguments were disingenuous, and none of these categories were inserted disingenuously either. Even if you give the all of the ties to Naruto, and still, like for some reason, insert Baryon mode in there, as well just as like a bonus win condition for him then they still only like tie and that is the most generous interpretation of the entire series possible for naruto with like an added basically like free space for him so it, it wasn't on purpose you know it was I, like <laughs> 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 neither of us uh went into this with the intent of making sasuke win the little mini game here i guess but yep. uh you know if you want just to how the that, cookie crumbles two, two <laughs> boys you know we, we definitely didn't make the video to say sasuke won uh 100 it did this it just happened to come down this way with the specific rounds that we chose for the for the for the video well what other rounds would you introduce where naruto wins i mean you know uh you know that's just how it's just how it went down so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh anyway uh if you guys like the video subscribe to the channel subscribe to six as well i'll leave the link to his channel down in the description uh he uploads a lot of naruto content more frequently than I do, actually. So if you're hungry for, you know, the sort of stuff that you saw us discussing here, head on over to his channel and you won't be disappointed. But uh, also, let both of us know, do you disagree with us on any of these? Who you think would win in, say, the tuning exam finals? You think Naruto could tough it out? The, the Kage Summit is the one that I'm most interested in hearing from you guys about, though. I want to know yeah. you guys' uh, opinion on that. But if you do give a differing opinion, 
Don't just say, oh, blank would win this. Show your work. Tell me why. I want to I want to be introduced to new perspectives. Because, I mean, that, that was definitely the longest portion of the video. And when we were talking about it, that's the one we got hung up on. Literally the only one where we were like, well, I guess we got hung up on some of the stuff in part one. But it got solved in like five minutes. That yeah. one was like an hour long conversation, maybe longer. So I'm definitely interested to hear how people would take that otherwise. And maybe, you know, maybe we didn't bring something up that you thought was super important. Yeah. Right? It is a 700 chapter series, more uh, including the Boruto stuff that we talked about. So we may have let some stuff fly under our radar. Uh, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure we did a good job. I think that we covered everything. But if we missed anything, let us know. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching all the way to the end. And until next time, catch you later.